Hello folks, in this video I'll go through the steps of installing the game framework Love2D to your computer, and also show how to set up new projects and how to run them. Installing Love is very easy, you just go to love2d.org, and the download links are right here in the middle. If you're on Mac, you can just download this file and install the application, and if you're on Windows, I recommend the installer. While you're going through the Windows setup, make sure that you keep track of this path right here, the destination folder. We are going to be using that in just a second. Once the installation completes, I recommend creating a shortcut to Love on your desktop. If you're on Mac, you can just add the Love application to your dock. On Windows, we're going to visit that installation path from just a moment ago. In my case, it is here in C, Program Files, Love. And if we take a closer look, we'll find this love.exe file right in this folder. If you don't see the .exe part, you can go up to View, and then choose this File Name Extensions, and that'll show the extension of every file. So we want to create a shortcut to this love.exe, so I'm going to go down to Send To Desktop, and then we'll see that there is a shortcut right here. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Love. Once this is ready, you can go ahead and double click it to start, or if you're on Mac, just run the application. And you should see a window that looks something similar to this, just some weird looking animation. It might look slightly different depending on what version of Love you're using. But this is the screen that shows when Love is running, but no game is found. And if you see something like this, that means everything's good so far. The next step is to install some text editor that you'll be using to code. You can use anything that you're comfortable with, but I highly recommend Visual Studio Code, which is what I use in these videos, and it's completely free. You can get it from code.visualstudio.com, and the download links are right up here. Just download the correct one for your operating system. Once you've downloaded and installed Visual Studio Code, go ahead and start it up. In this program, we'll be able to edit and create files for our game. To do that though, we'll need to create a new Love project. Projects in Love2D have a very simple structure. To make one, you're just going to create a new folder anywhere on your computer. In my case, I'll just make mine on the desktop. So I'll right click and choose New, Folder, and I'm going to call this folder My Game. So now I just have a folder called My Game on the desktop, or this folder can be anywhere on your computer. Then back in Visual Studio Code, we'll want to open that folder. And we can do this with File, and then Open Folder, and I created my folder on my desktop and right here. So I'm going to select this folder and choose Select Folder. So now our folder is open. We can see the My Game name in this section in the upper left corner right here. Now that we're here, the next step is to create our first Lua file. And we can do this using this New File button. You might have to hover over the section to see it, but click New File. And we need to name this file main.lua. It must have this exact name. And once you press enter, the file will be created and it should open up this new tab over here that says main.lua. It's just an empty file right now. And this is it. This is the simple structure that all Love2D projects start with. Simply just a folder that contains a file called main.lua. Of course, you'll be adding more to this folder, but just having this alone allows us to run the project through Love. There's a few ways that you can run a project. Here I have my project folder, just my game, and as we just saw, it just contains this main.lua file that we just created. And one way that we can run this code is by taking the project folder and dragging it onto a love shortcut. And if it's successful, it should pop up a love window, might say untitled, and it's just a big black screen. If you see this, then that means that it worked. Since our main.lua file is empty, this is expected, an empty game. Once we add code to this file, the window will start showing whatever we choose our game to be. And as a side note, you can drag and drop folders from anywhere on your computer. It does not have to be specifically from the desktop. Now, although dragging and dropping is easy, we can make it even easier by running our project through Visual Studio Code. To do this, we just need to install an extension. An extension is just a plugin that makes VS Code do something specific. So in this Extensions tab right here, we're going to search for the specific extension that we want, which is called Love2D Support. So when you search for this, you should find this Love2D Support plugin. So you can go ahead and install that. And once you see the Disable and Uninstall buttons, 
you know that the extension was installed successfully. From here though, we do need to configure it a bit. So using this gear icon, we can go down to extension settings. And then in here, we need to verify that this path, the Love2D path, is accurate. Earlier when you installed Love2D, we went to the path where it was installed in order to create the shortcut. That same path is what we need to include here. If you're on Windows, the path that is shown right here, um, which is C, Program Files, Love, Love.exe, this path is probably correct. And if you're on Mac, if you installed the Love app to your applications, the path will probably be this path that's on screen. But always be sure to double check where you actually installed and put that same path in here. And once you have this path specified, we can go ahead and close out of these tabs and test it out. And you can just go back to your main.lua tab at the top or go up to this file explorer portion and double click on main.lua. So once we're here, we can run the project by using a command. On Windows, that command is Alt-L, and if you're on Mac, the command is Command-L. So using that command, I'm going to run Alt-L, and it starts our game. It took whatever code was in this My Game folder and runs it through Love. The same exact thing as if we dragged and dropped the folder. However, this is a lot quicker and easier, so be sure to keep this command in the back of your mind whenever you want to run your project. At this point, you're all set up to begin coding your game. You'll start by putting code into this main.lua file, and as you develop, you can add more files to your project folder. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like if you did. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.